Good afternoon, South African. A very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express, and it's actually the very first cook along of spring. Spring has sprung. Welcome to the show, Donna. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay! Of course, spring is sprung. It always needs an applause. And of course, the Afternoon Express cook along is all today, and it's all about the classics. Nothing screams South African traditions like a home flame grilled fry. Oh, nothing smells like summer no. more than a home I grilled I fry. Now. It's just the scent of fry. Oh, I yeah. knew I had to smell something delicious and tasty. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just your natural smell. But of course, we can never get over coming together and enjoying quality meat that is marinated to perfection any day of the week. Absolutely love yeah. it. So what are we brying? Okay, it's going to be like a smorgasbord of things. It's like a... This is going to be our open flame. It's going to be open flame. We're going to crack a window as well. It's, like, it's a take on the chest and yam. So you, yeah. you, you just have one type of meat, right? Yeah. No. We're going to no. go with three. So we got some beautiful chicken kebabs, some beautiful full rack of lamb. Yeah. And then we do some burrowbos, of some course. Thick yeah. Some thick burrowbos. Yeah. You know, that, you always do a dance when you do a burrowbos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, what's a bride without the sides? The sides? Yeah. The sides are going to be in there as well. Amazing. Yeah. The last time I went to a Chisanyama was in Googs. Yeah. Juju Le Toi. Oh, Juju Le Toi. Oh. And it was amazing. It okay. was such a vibe. So we're going to create the vibe here in the loft today. And we're so happy to have you joining us at home. We hope that you're going to be cooking along and uh, brying your place with us on the show. Now, to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phones, simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMS is a one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And of course, we are streaming live because it's 2018. You can find us anywhere. So just look on YouTube. And of course, you can keep your phone with you in the kitchen and follow along. And you can also chat to us via our social media pages and tell us what you think is the perfect side dish for a braai by tweeting us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page and of course our lines are open because we're all here in real life so please do give us a call on 021-430-9881 if you've got any culinary questions or if you've got stuck along the way and um, what do you think are the best sides at a braai? Meat. Oh, um, <laughs> roasted garlic. Roasted garlic on the bride. Yes. Potato Obviously salad. Potato, potato salad. No potato in the foil. Okay. On yeah. the bride. That's good. And Wink, Millie. Winky slime. Yeah. I love a winky slime. I do. I love What's it. I have to be word there. For sandwich and Afrikaans. A two break. Oh, bribe break. Bribe break. Bribe break. Yeah, we were yes. talking about yeah. that. Yeah. That works as yes. well. Yeah, very excited. And an ice cold dessert. <laughs> 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 now, of course, we did say that today is all about the classics and there's definitely no argument when it comes to the dish. We'll also be making a smooth, titillating, honey, 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 ginger and pear custard tart. And of course, yesterday was the Jewish New Year's and they put um, honey with everything to give you a sweet New Year. We so we're going to be doing that today. Just wishing everybody a sweet new year. And uh, okay, so what is that? What goes within our ginger and Yeah, honey? it's gonna be all the beautiful spices because I mean, spring is here. We wanna celebrate the last little bit of winter yeah. by warming up the dish. Beautiful yeah. spices with a very easy sponge and then some pear. I mean, what can be easier? Oh, yeah, delicious. it's gonna be amazing. And you know, this winter keeps on lingering. I know. Like, I like, like, it. like, like the winter, summer's oh flirting with us, but, but then it's going, no, cheers. <laughs> and then winter's coming back. So ginger is actually gonna be good for everybody's yes. throat just to, just yeah. to de winter. Yeah. Great idea. Gingers are going to be great for everyone. I love a ginger. You love a ginger? <laughs> oh, I love a ginger. And if you want this classic honey, ginger and pear classic custard tart, send directly to your phone, then simply SMS the, uh, the keyword clover to 33650. SMSs are one round 50 each. Free SMSs don't apply. And now... Yes! It's my favorite time of the week. Our special <laughs> guest today is nothing short of exciting. In fact, she exudes fabulous and she exudes confidence like you've never seen before. It's TV presenter and actress Nomsa Butelezi. And after being discovered by a playwright, or a playwright, Nomsa has gone on to play numerous roles, including the role of uh, Awelani in SABC2 Soapy Muvango and Tandi in SABC1 sitcom Abomzala. So just to name a few. She's absolutely amazing, and we can't help but admit that Nomsa is fast becoming a treasure on our screens. It's a wonderful day. Oh, yes, it's a wonderful day. 
Attention on me. Ah, guys, Wow, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes, Dr. Lazy. Yes, girl. So fabulous to have you here. I mean, you've just got such a fun career. You mm -hmm. look like you're always having fun in your roles. Mm -hmm. How similar are, are you to, to the role that we've just seen you in? Because I heard <laughs> that, that you're pretty similar and you said that, that she exudes every part of you except mm -hmm. you're not a man-eater. Yes, <laughs> yes. Tandy is like uh, over the top, yeah. bubbly, yeah. always happy, but yeah. she's a man-eater. Yeah. But I'm not a man eater. <laughs> <laughs> but I could take away the, the happiness. Yes. Yeah. The happiness, the bubbliness, being out there, colorful. Yeah. That's me. I love that. I wake up every single day happy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't get it. But I think it's such a beautiful quality to have. And I mean, it is you definitely. Can just see you exude happiness. Yes, definitely, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. I can see you, even the polka dots are out there to play. No, you look <laughs> phenomenal. So let's, just for all of your fans mm -hmm. who just love you and want to mm -hmm. know you a little bit more, mm -hmm. let's go back to your childhood. What was a young Nomsa like growing up in Alex? You know, growing up in Alex, Alex is a small township. Yeah. And and for me, it was like so, uh, it was limiting me, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I, I was like a dreamer. Yes. I, I, my, my life was, I was, I was always a dreamer. Yeah. Um, my life was on stage, yeah. lights, mirror. And yeah. um, I used to talk to the mirror all the time. That child was crazy. Oh, yeah, she's so That cute. baby was crazy, but I'm glad I had parents that understood. Yeah. Um, very dramatic, yeah. like to dress up, yeah. lipstick, everything. My daughter's like that too. Yeah. I understand her. Yeah, I, I lived in my own world. Yeah. I lived in my own world, and somehow it really did something to me personally yeah. as growing up. I heard that because, you know, because you grew up in Alex, mm -hmm. it kind of shaped you and built you to be the woman Definitely. that you are mm -hmm. and gave you like quite a thick skin to go out there and do whatever you wanted to do in the world. Definitely. Um, you know, uh, there's so many characters in Alex. Yeah. You know, um, they're your alcoholics, your gangsters, your whatever. Yeah. So growing up in such um, a space, you become more creative. You can do any character that you want to do. Yeah. So my, my township has, that is why I called myself Gomorrah Diva. Yeah. Gomorrah is Alex. Yeah. And I'm the diva <laughs> of Alex. Oh, that is So nice. I'm just the, the, the fun girl. Yeah. You know, I love walking around Alex, yeah. you know, because um, that is the township that actually meet who I like who I am today. Sure. Yes. But I mean you of course you are the fun girl, but you're not just the fun girl. I mm. heard that like your IQ levels and the way you performed at school, you were so smart and <laughs> so way ahead of other kids in your class that you actually finished school a year earlier. Yes. How, I mean, how lucky was that? I, ha I have a photographic mind. Yeah. So I did not know that the, the mind that I have it will help me as an actress. Yeah, you know, learning, like the script. Yeah, learning the script sure. and all that. So growing up, I would look at something and then I would remember it exactly. So when the <sighs> teacher asked me and he would go, what is the matter? And I'll say it is the, um, a layer that encloses the amniotic fluid that cushions the baby against distortion by maternal organs pressing against it. So the teacher was like, oh, no, this child must get out of my class. She's too oh, intelligent for me. Amazing. So, yeah. So I finished school very early yeah. and I was the, the youngest one. Yeah, in amazing. Class. Yes. One would have thought that with that kind of mind, mm -hmm. that all the doors would have opened to you mm -hmm. in terms of, of education. Mm -hmm. But I think money was tight. Mm -hmm. And you just wanted to be on stage. Yes. So what happened? From there? My mother um, worked in pick and pay. Yeah. Pick and pay is a, sh a shelf packer. Yeah. Uh, my dad too. So when I finished school, they were like so scared. Oh my gosh, this kid finished school at the age of 16 and we don't have yeah. money. Yeah. You know? And uh, then I went to um, an academy called Kosek. Yeah. Uh, it was so dodgy. But what did anyway, they do? <laughs> it was dodgy. What did they do with the dodgy academy? It was in academy? Uval. 
<laughs> it but was why in they Uva, teaching you? Like an but they academy. really did t- teach me. Yeah. Oh, really? Because the, the, we, we had your Jonas Guangua there, you know, oh, Soran wow. Chilo. I mean, those were legends. Even though it so was a little bit dodgy. It was so dodgy. Listen, to when be a good actress, class, you need friends in low places. You smell weed. Oh, um, really? Mm. But you yeah. obviously weren't touched by that no, kind of darling, bad No, not at all. Um, I think um, Yuval was, was beautiful by that time because yeah. you'd see people with percussions, artists. So it was, you know, yeah. um, refreshing for me. Um, then you'd see um, Rastafari there doing his own poetry there. So it was very inspirational for me. But yeah. then um, I remember my mother went to the principal and she was like, I don't have money. I don't have money. But the only thing I'll give you is 600 rands. Yeah. Every month. Yeah. And uh, the principal was like, okay, let's see your child. And then when they saw my performance, they were like, oh my gosh, this child, if only a mother had money, would take it to like, uh, the, like the, these schools. Yeah. Um, and then I finished, uh, I think, the second year. I was about to finish, then I got a, I got a job. Yeah, when but you were actually, 17, you got your yes, first job. Yes. And Paying it, gig. Babe, listen, I got 1,002. Oh, girl. Enough for two months of school. Yeah. <laughs> I got, um, and then I bought my first Levi jeans. Oh, yeah. I was the, the it girl that yeah. time. Uh, and then when I moved over from, uh, from school, then reality sank in. That the industry is actually not for you, girl. You know? Why? What happened? Or you know, what when made you, you believe that that was the message? Right, after, right after finishing my drama uh, school, uh, I went to the corporate world, uh, dramatic um, Theatre, industrial theatre. Yeah. And then I found out that you actually, you need um, a waist. Mm. You need a look. Yeah. And then, darling, I look like my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I look like my daddy. And um, there's a mountain. Yeah. And there are, you know, Mount Kilimanjaro yeah. right here. <laughs> so there was a problem. And uh, this man, this man right there, I was about to give up. Yeah. And he was like, no, 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 you're not, uh, you're not going to give yeah. up. And I'm going to give you the 22 rands to go to the audition and oh you're going to get it. And immediately when I went there, I was praying in the taxi. And you know, because of this funny thing, there's something about me, I don't know what it, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm soon to actually realize there's something about me. So I was praying in the taxi and then this lady was like, say, she said, amen, wherever you're going, the Lord is your shepherd. And when I went into the auditioning room, I gave it my all. I did not have the clothes. Yeah. Some were laughing at me. Darling, when they said action, something came out. Mm. And they did not believe it. Yeah. Yes. And you delivered and you got the job. I delivered and I got oh, the job. Baby. Sensational. And you keep on killing it. Yes. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to head to the kitchen in a little while. My and favorite gonna, place. Is it really? Yeah. It's my, the most uncomfortable place for me, but we're going to have a really? lot of fun. Really? Yeah, Darling, you got me. You I got me. <laughs> After the break, we put Nomse in the hot seat with our chefs in the kitchen as we prepare South Africa's most loved dish, the chisanyama.
our guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and fly Mango. Welcome back to Afternoon Express for our fantastic Tuesday cook-along. And of course, we've got the wonderful Norma Sabutelezi in the loft with us for our mm. cook-along, along with our gorgeous chef, oh, Sue Ann Allen. And Clem, is this yeah. one big steak? It's, it's, it's ribs, it's ribs. Oh, okay. It's, 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 like, it's very expensive. Sure. Oh, we're we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, September is all about celebrating South African history. It's people, it's culture. And if there's one thing about South African culture, no matter who you are, or where you are from, it's that if you make a fire, we will come and we will bry. Yes. So whether you bry, barbecue or grill, today's dish is for you. So it's a shisanyama like you've never, ever seen before. And we can't wait to get busy. How good are you in the kitchen? Darling, I am like the chef. Really? Oh. <laughs> what is your go-to? What is like your favorite thing to make? Snookfish. Really? Look at that. Yes. Yes. And how do you do it? Grilled. Yeah. Or grill. Uh -huh. yeah. With vegetables, oh, yeah. a bit nice. of cheese there, and lemon. Oh! <laughs> okay, but you enjoy good cheese and yama. Yes. All right, cool. Okay, fabulous. Let's talk about this lamb right now. I'm going to get out of this packaging. Yeah. This is not ordinary lamb, okay? It's free range. You, you hear I say that a lot, free yeah. range. But this guy's really different. It's free range. Look at Jeannie, she's digging in there. I was being like so calm with get it. The meat so, out. this is normally when you buy <laughs> lamb ribs, right? It's normally a thin strip of lamb ribs. Yeah. This is yeah. actually the, the, the proper side of it, okay? So, yeah. Big difference. It's not subjected to like regu regular antibiotics, mm -hmm. which is a huge thing. Your dad's a butcher, he knows. Yeah. If you want to I don't see any actual ribs on there. Look at that. There we go at the back. Ah, okay. It's all oh, about okay. keeping the meat yeah. as natural yeah. as possible. Yeah, yeah th this is the good stuff. This yes. is the really good stuff. Yeah. Also, it's not heavily marinated, it's actually marinated in what the animal eats. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. It's marinated cool. in rosemary, a little bit of some thyme, <laughs> and all the herbs, you know. You imagine little sheep like grazing through the fields, oh, eating that's it all. That's sweet. Yeah. It's a fancy little sheep. He's so fancy. Yeah. Salt and pepper, the yeah. easiest thing ever. You can smell that. It smells beautiful. Yeah. It smells fragrant. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's going to go. Okay. Rosemary on lamb is the best it's, combo. It's mm. the way. Marriage. It's the way. So Marriage. I would be Marriage. brying this right now. But yeah. I was told no open fires in the studio. Yeah. I'm contesting it, okay? Next week, we'll see what's going to happen. Yes. So this is going to go into the oven for now. Wooden nice floors up in flames. Yeah. Hey! Bonfire. <laughs> yeah. We will dry. Yeah. We will dry. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this bad boy goes into the oven nice Just and like slow. Just like this. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to do it over your, your braai, keep it like a nice medium to low heat coals yeah. and quite a distance between the coals and the actual meat. Yeah. So you want that heat to like slowly penetrate the meat. The fat's gonna drip out of there, and that's actually where that beautiful flavor comes from. The fat renders out of the lamb, and every time it hits the coals, it smokes. That and it's the smoke that penetrates the meat and gets in there, and makes it so delicious and so amazing. That's what it's about. Have you ever ever heard anybody <laughs> describe? No, I'm like, this hey, is such a this is from this is Clem and he's most no, excited. No, absolutely. This <laughs> is from private school. No, it is absolutely. It, this is the way. Sure. If you go to the lamb ribs, do these guys. This is the way it's going to happen. Yeah. You'll be happy every single time. Mm. Delicious. But it's not just about the lamb. It's about the boerewors, of course. It's yeah. about the boerewors yes. as well. I, do, yes. I don't think that there's a braai that goes by without somebody. You know, it's when you say bring in braai, there's like 50 packs of vores. Have you, have you noticed yeah. that? Yeah. It, and it wouldn't be a shes and yama if we didn't have it. So we've got some some really classic, uh, thick boerewors. And I don't know if you guys know, you know, sometimes if somebody brings sausage to your, your braai, there's a difference. Because boerewors is all about having a 90% meat content. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so I should hope so. Uh, we, should, yes. we, we should hope so. Yeah. But, th but that's an important thing. Because then we know that the other 10% is just additional <laughs> flat for fat for flavoring, seasonings. So, so this one, typical coriander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we know that it's not filled with a whole bunch of other... Yeah. Because that's true, because Just, other sausage, yeah. they can literally add whatever they, can they add like whatever they which want. Which is scary. Whatever. There's no regulation. Yeah. Yes. People, ladies, know your voice. Know no. your voice, okay? <laughs> know your voice. It's very Definitely. important. So, so, so this is the exactly. good stuff. And just to note is, and you can hear we've got a sizzle, but it's not kind of like smoking like crazy. Yeah. Mm. Never put your voice into, if you are doing it on the stove top, into a super hot pan. Oh, yes. It's a natural casing, and if there's too much heat, uh, casing's going to break. 
flavor, there it goes. Moisture, okay. there it goes. So we just want to be gentle and then we want to keep on turning until we've got the perfect mm. golden color. And in a situation of a bribe, would we would do that after that? Because we would. Is this a hotter flame and that's And that's, cool, that's also going to take longer. I, okay. there, there's also a preference because I like my, my Borovos not dead. Well done. <laughs> so tell me, why do you always right have water bro? sometimes when you're doing bravos? And, and then it's, that's there's water, thing. it's all If it's so not bravos, mm. they're pumping it full of water, of water. as well. Oh. And that comes out. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Bravos oh. is a must. Let me just turn the grill pan on real quick in the middle so for me. That heat's yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? I'm doing the wrong thing. No, it's that. It's that one. It's that one. Look at us. Right. How many right. chefs does it take to switch on the oven? There we go. Okay, so that's thing is thing now. Also, can I just be braai etiquette right now? Yes. If someone invites you to a braai, you don't rock up with the thin sausage. <laughs> no. Yeah, please don't eat that no. sausage. No. Clem is taking the sausage. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's, there's an no, etiquette. There's an mm, etiquette. Okay, I don't bring your meat frozen. We know that tactic. Oh, my meat's all frozen. You're going to take it home with you, aren't yeah. you? Uh-uh, no. Who does no. that? I know people. Do that, darling. I'm gonna, I, do I won't that. out them on national <laughs> TV right now. And I also want to call them out too. Okay, so you arrive at somebody's house with a thick sausage, preferably. Always. Yes. Okay. Always. Well, also, you go back to Willie's and you get the good stuff. Willie's? Okay. We'll oh. Yes. Friends. We'll send you packing. <laughs> We've got That's fancy the one. friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then how do we know when to turn that over? So I'm gonna, I'm, I've turned the one piece, I'm gonna wait for this a little bit more. We want some brown and then we wanna turn, but we wanna keep on turning. So okay. you don't have to wait for complete brown before Amazing. giving it a mm -hmm. flip. We're just gonna keep on moving until okay. we can feel and see it's done. I already can tell what you want me to do. All right, so between the two of you, Chicken. you're in charge of the kebabs. Be very, very important. Mm -hmm. ah, and there gonna, we go. That, I'm gonna give you that tongue to tongue tongue tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna put two or you're gonna put two? Okay. Team that's right, right, team one, but so, I've got a feeling you're gonna be better at this than I am. No, baby. Actually, no. No. You guys I'm are not at all. Oh, so, so you can turn the heat down by all means. Uh, you can turn I have, it down. I have. Oh, okay. I've dropped so, it now. Okay. When you're busy with chicken or meat that's been pre marinated already, why didn't you, you want me to do that? You guys are winning. I, no, I, I don't know. Are you giving I me just, a tongue? I, I know. Okay. I thought you wanted to be fancy. Ah, no. <laughs> fancy moms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These, these heels are killing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can fry and cook meat in heels. Huh? You can. We can. You can. You, we can. Here we go. You like okay. fly. <laughs> so when you're busy with meat that's been coated in a, in a sweet sticky marinade, very important. Yeah. Also, low heat. Yeah. Like too high, and you're going to burn that sugar before the meat's cooked. Oh. It takes a very special person, but they exist to burn like the living daylights out of a kebab, but the inside's completely raw. Oh, okay? Wow. And that kind of happens, happens when you put your Ooh. stuff on the meat and it's too high. Okay. Oh. So then, what's the secret? Just like keep on, and, and keep keep on, on turning, turning it, yeah? Turning. Okay. And, a, and a nice low heat as well. You'll okay. notice everything we're doing today is not, not rapid Ooh. heat, it's nice and low. That's this is going to be delicious. Mm. And you know what's nice about these kebabs is when they actually stay quite moist and juicy. Oh, I yeah. love that. Because of the chicken thighs. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, if you want to be part nice. of our chis and yama today, all you need to do is SMS the keyword no, EAT to double three six five zero, and all of the details will be sent to your mobile phone. <laughs> the recipe, the shopping list, mm -hmm. all you need to do to be able to have a lekker braai saam met ons vandag. Hey. Hey. Uh, but the party this side... It's very quiet. No, it's very quiet. Okay. We're going to do it. I'm going to go to the oven. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. yeah. There you okay. go. This lamb is still bleating. All right. Oh, Should we take a quick commercial yeah. break to put the lamb in the oven? Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. So we're going to be back in just a little while because we want all of this to happen at the same time. Yes. 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 Good. Hey, how yes. domesticated am I? All right. We'll be back right after this break. Yay.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, we are heading up the hottest chest in your main town yes. today in the loft. And we've got the fabulous Nam Sabut Lezi with us. Yes. And of course, we are brying. We've got mm -hmm. lamb, we've got sausage, we've got societies. Yum. And the most amazing thing for me about it, I mean, mm. I don't know about how you have a bry, but I think it's such a mission to sometimes go and get great meat, great chicken, great sausage from everywhere. So the best part about Willie's for me, I think, is convenience, how everything is already pre-planned yes. so that there's not much that you need to do. You just buy it, open the packet and check it on the, stick it on the flame. That is why you pay, darling. Yeah, it's amazing. Quality, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> because the worst part is being hosted, but you never see your host because in the kitchen. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Especially because the sides are everything, but they do take quite a long time to yeah. make. Uh, so we've actually gone with, what's in your hand right now? Because that's my favorite. Is that what we... That's my I favorite. I know you're going to head over here. So yeah. this is a bean salad. Yeah. And I, I, I was saying this earlier, for me, it's not a bry without a boinky sly. Yeah. Did you see what I did there? Course. Did you see what I did? I did um, but what's really great about this is that you've got your mix. You've got red beans, you've got butter beans, you've got yeah. some beautiful celery, mm -hmm. and it's all already dressed for you. Now yeah. you'd say, yeah, but you're a chef. Should you not just be in the kitchen cooking? Yeah. But you know what? When it's a bry, it is also about the chiers. It's about the socializing. It's about coming together, and if yes. I'm just stuck in the kitchen the whole time, I'm sweating, ain't darling. no fair. So yeah. these convenient salads really are great, um, flavor-wise, texture-wise, everything about it's good. So for me, not a buy without a bean salad, so we're bringing Amazing. this today. Clem's also giving me Beans. a thumbs up. Beans. Okay, now, so basically you've got this TV hosting job. Yes which is phenomenal because you get to go to see all these incredible weddings. Yes. Have you ever gone to a wedding and then had like the worst meal ever, that it was awkward? Tell the truth. Ah, uh, but guys, <laughs> I really have to say that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you don't have to have to call out the bride because that will be quite terrible. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. But you can tell us what the meal is. <laughs> I, yes. Yeah, was I, it really I, bad? Yeah, it was very bad. Oh. Really. It was very bad, guys. Okay, what happened? What happened? Um, <laughs> I think I, I think uh, the, the rice was mixed with the mealy meal. Oh. oh. I don't know, maybe there was war there. Wow. You know? And then it came together, and then there was a reconciliation, and then they came together, rice and papa. Yeah. So wow. I don't know what's happening, and then there was chicken, and it was soggy, and... Oh, oh, guys, that's so terrible. Somebody forgot to call the caterer. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, and what has been the most hectic moment that's happened to you at a wedding when you've gone, this is a little disaster, I'm going to need to leave? Um, <laughs> like a bride not pitching up to walk down the aisle or something like that. You no. know what, burning the chicken will be a disaster? Let me yes. Let me, let me, let me, let me, I think, I think uh, was when I was supposed to tell the bride that the, the cake has fallen. <gasps> no. Oh. And then you didn't. Just telling the bride. Darling, I had to tell the bride. Okay. Um, yeah, that was the worst, hey? And she loved her cake. She loved her cake. Oh, it's just that they, 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 they <clears throat> delivered the cake. Um, I think it was hot. Because I heard when you deliver a cake hot... Never. It, yeah, the, the, the icing's going to come off. It's going to collapse. Yes. Mm. How, oh, that's no. devastating. Yes. And it was a, I think it was a five-tier. Five-tier oh, cake. Wow. Oh, It was... Oh. Collapse. It rested in peace. That's one of those moments that I would certainly turn into a little bridezilla. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, the, none of that is going to happen no. here. No. We're not going to no. bother no. this no. cheese no. and because no. this is amazing. Okay. okay, you are now chopping up some amazing gherkins, which I are my favourite. Chopping up some gherkins because we, we we were talking about the sides. The one the one thing I do like making. Oh is potato salad yeah. and and you yes. know you put your potatoes yes. into boil you can do this before let it chill mm -hmm. so it doesn't take up too much time in the kitchen yeah. this one is crazy decadent we're Ooh. doing a um a basil we're doing it with basil cream cheese we're doing it with a mayo based sriracha mm -hmm. we're adding some black olives we're doing gherkin yeah. so Ooh. this is yeah. like Jeez. it's like the queen or king of potato salads. Yeah. Queen, and it's queen, gonna, queen. it's gonna be good we're queen. using the queen. Queen. okay queen. Yeah. Uh, sorry Clem. it's the queen of potato <laughs> salad <laughs> Guys, also important, this is a nickel, these are these be Woolies beautiful Nicola potatoes. Uh -huh. They are waxy, which means that when I add all of my dressings, it absorbs it without going flowery, so it doesn't like fall apart like mashed potatoes. Amazing. So also like choose your potato carefully, but it, it's the hero. I'm adding a whole lot of stuff. It's still gonna be, I just wanna eat one. Yeah. It's the hero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes so good. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish making this before I just yeah. like, yes, I'm like, all gonna want yes. smash one. Mm. I so this, this is going to be good, and potato yeah, potato salad, salad. it's not a bride without a potato salad, right? Yeah, and I feel like a potato salad is also a really nice thing to arrive at a yes. bride with. Yeah. Yes. yes, but it must be properly prepared. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. You, you can't have a bad potato Because you'll be fighting salad. with um, potatoes, remember, if like, they're not pre-boiled. Oh no, that's the worst! That's the worst. And then there's a sound, there's a <laughs> sound. <laughs> no! And you have to look. 
You have to look like you're enjoying it. You shouldn't be crunching your potato salad. Never. No. No. It's not fries. Yeah. Could you ever leave skin on a potato salad? I do, mm. um, often. I, I, I like the taste of potato skin. I like yeah, that, that little too. bit of peel. Me too. Um, me too. So you could absolutely leave potato skins on. I think that is, that's just the preference. Still, the potato mustn't be a flowery yeah, no, potato no, for no, when no, you use no. a waxy, but yeah. skin is good. Nutrients and skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely. No, skin. Yeah, okay, so what have you got going on? So you got, the, you got the pickles, you got the olives? I've got pickles, the olives, cheese. I'm doing sun-dried and tomato basil cream. Oh, yeah, cheese. Oh, so wow. good. And then um, I really love this mayo-based sriracha, so it's not the full hot one, it's, uh -huh. it's creamier. Yeah. So we've got our mayo going in there oh, as okay. well. Yeah. So it's going to be delicious. For that, delicious, darling. Okay, I need to ask a little trick with the chicken, because I mean, how do you know when it's ready, when it's done? So because I mean, that looks nice now for me, yeah. but then it'll be maybe too underdone mm -hmm. for somebody else, and then my guests will get salmonella again, and then it's gonna be weird. Sort of horrible. Did thing. you say again? <laughs> 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 so definitely, if you're doing like a chicken portion, yeah. cut into the thickest piece of chicken that you have yeah. on the bride yeah. or okay. the oven. If the juices run clear, you're winning, oh, you're fine. Go. So with a kebab like this, I would also kind of just cut into a thick piece, look, in, look into it, and just kind of see what the color looks you like. You are doing a great job, darling. Yeah. Thank you. You yes. are. So that's the great way to tell how your chicken's done. Also, we're doing a spatchcock chicken. Do you want to do that side? Yes, please. Yeah. Wiggle the legs. If the wig, the, if the wig, if the leg wiggles easily, <laughs> it's done. The wig. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All so right. those are looking good. Can we just look at this lamb? Obviously, this is not the one that we made now. But that was quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but look at that. Look how the, the meat, Start pulling, or the, you have to pull it from the bone. Gee, that's one very good looking Ooh. lamb. It's really good. Guys, this yeah. is the real deal. And then keep those drippings. Funny story, if you keep those drippings and you actually make a mayonnaise out of it, oh, you know nice. how you always drizzle oil into your blender and you make it? Mm -hmm. Lamb flavor. Yeah. I'm just Shoot. saying. It's not, it's, not for, it's not for every day, but we're celebrating, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's sexy food talk. Though, it's very so. sexy food talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what they've done is they've actually chined the bone already in two parts for you. So normally when you buy lamb ribs, you end up just getting this strip. Oh, okay, yeah. Woolies love you. They've given you all of that. This is actually where the madness is. You want this. If you look at the type of the thickness, you get that mm. fat, mm -hmm. compared to how like, less thick it is on that end. Mm. You want a nice, like, a bit of thick meat, thin meat, fat, yeah. all of it, okay? This isn't first date food, though, because <laughs> that's something you're going to want to eat with your fingers. Isn't it? I think and you want to get, get all of that meat too. off the bone. It's exactly. the mm. first day food. It's such a good way to judge the other person. What? It's staring at making eye contact with your no, first date they while you're licking it off your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh that. Let me know when you start talking about the problem. I'm still like, it's know, like... Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe okay. like we we got things backwards. I don't know. Maybe I like that. First date food. I mean, no. <laughs> so 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 it, it, it's, if you it, or or okay, say you have this and the guy starts eating with a knife and fork on the, mm. you know what? You need to do this. You need to type. You can tell what type of person they are by how they eat ribs. If you go on a date yes. and a person starts eating it with a knife and fork, you know that's going to be the fork only date. Your it's going to be a problem. That's yes. all. You get <laughs> your <laughs> knife and fork is a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or pizza. Oh my good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But who eats pizza with knife and fork? No, like, I saw somebody once eating a wrap with a knife and fork. No. And I was like, I'm never going to watch this person eat again. Yeah. Like, ever, never, ever, ever. ever. It's judged. painful. It's painful. Yeah, okay. I was judged Judy that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start serving this up. Uh, also, very important, when the meat comes off the braai, <laughs> yeah. let it rest, it is yeah, super sure. hot. Same rule like when you cook a steak uh, and the yeah. meat comes out of the pan, it's hot. As soon as you cut into it, if you cut into it too soon, all those juices are going to... Look at all our camera guys drooling. Yo, <laughs> I know, what? this is quite a funny show. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, let your meat rest before you slice into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to make... You'll be sure to have like super juicy meat. Guys, can I just do this? This is the size of a beef rib that you normally have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is lamb, by the way. Look how much meat and fat is on there. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Divine. It's crazy. That's exactly mm. what you want. And if your hands don't look like this, you made a mistake. Yeah. And if, you, if you're done eating it and you don't look like your face is covered in like complete grease, you're, you're not eating it right. Yeah, that's one of those when you eat but you can't put it down. You've got to clean your face like that. Yes. <laughs> so, that's eating meat. <laughs> then you're really doing really it. All right. Expensive meat. Yeah. <laughs> Sue, what's co cooking that side? So, we're about to finish our potato salad. Um, for me, this this is, you know, we changed it up, but one classic fresh parsley. Yeah. Like, if, if, this is, you see, I'm a little bit judgy. Like, if you come to my house and your potato doesn't, mm. salad doesn't have fresh parsley, I think you're weird. It's a crime. <laughs> it's a crime. Um, but, I, I, you know, it's actually quite an important thing. Just that balance of fresh with that rich, mm -hmm. creamy mm -hmm. is, Amazing. I mean, it looks pretty, but it also is actually just a, a, a flavor balance thing. So, our potato salad is ready to go. 
Our beans are ready to go. And we've also got a beautiful um, ready-made summer oh, crunch salad. Yes, so you guys yeah. are killing it. Oh, I okay, I'm going to get this chicken. Oh, wow, this is great. It's done. That extra little bit of Stand. marinade, we Stand. just, oh, that's going to be amazing. We did a great job, oh. darling. I hope you're enjoying cooking along with us as much as what we are. Now, we've brought the weekend feels to your Tuesday cook along. Now, get shopping and get brying. And to get the ingredients list and link, uh, all you need to do is SMS EAT to 33650. Here is a quick recap. Here, how good does that look? Oh, more deliciousness awaits us after the break as we prepare the most luscious honey, ginger, and pear custard tart. Oh, how's that? Oh, it smells good. Are you the smoothest fan to Zanzi's biggest stars? Prove it by entering SABC One's Tropica Smooth Fan Quiz Show. Buy Tropica and follow the entry details on the label. Select your favorite celeb who you think you know best to participate in the quiz show. And stand a chance to win thousands of instant daily prizes and a share of 1 million rand. Enter and catch the Tropica Smooth Fan Quiz Show on SABC One, Fridays at 6 p.m. Clover Classic Custard, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, it is our fabulous Tuesday cook-along. Now, with the smooth, creamy and delicious taste of Clover Classic Custard that really takes you back, it makes the perfect ending to any meal. So impress your guests with our delicious honey, ginger and pear classic custard tart. that will keep them coming back for more. So to do that, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent directly to your device. SMSs are 1 round 50 each and free SMSs do not 
apply because it's worth the one rand fifty. Yeah. Because this is amazing. This is such an easy batter we're gonna make right now. Okay. So in here I've got wow. some ground almond, some sugar, and then some demerara sugar or treacle sugar. All Get right. that nice dark stuff. It makes it taste all like, like nutty is and flavorful. Is treacle the one that can move? When yeah, you when push you put it in, in a bowl, it, it kind of moves. Actually, wait, is this this taste? Mmm, it's delicious. It's, it really works. It makes all the difference in the world. Okay, right. so get the good one. Then to that, we're going to add some eggs, okay. just like that. And then the spices. So it's a cinnamon and ground ginger going in. All right. I think, like, also, the pears and spice, we know this. They go really well together. Yeah. So get that in there. Then I got some vanilla. Bring out the vanilla of our yeah. Clover Classic custard. What am I doing with a whisk? Spoon. I don't know. There Do we you go. want me to whisk it for you? Pass to you, I suppose. Okay. Then to that, I'm going to add some cream, just like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what you could have even used? Coconut cream. Yeah. Well, that would that have worked? Yes, absolutely. Or am I just trying to make everything fancy? Uh -huh. A little bit of honey. Yeah. Should we just do this? Nice. And keep some of the honey for the end. I feel like we should drizzle some of this on the tart when we're done. Do you, you know what I found the other day? Because you know um, honey isn't vegan friendly, or vegans yes, don't right. believe in honey. I found honey made from dates. Love oh, that. Oh, it was so yeah. good. It was really, really delicious. And then can you pour in a little bit of oil for me? Sure. Oil? How, how much is a little? I'm going to say like a tablespoon. Quantities affect me. A tablespoon is good. Look, done. There we go. <laughs> and then go. I've got these beautiful pear hearts and I want to face them cut side up. Yeah. Because it's not like the tart to tan that we made last week. This one actually is not going to be turned upside down. We're going to see the presentation side. You know what? That's actually going to work really well. Let me just do this. And then do you want, I've just washed my hands. Yeah, so you let have. Me do there we your... go. Just to arrange that. There you go. And, and then, then like flower like. You know what? Any way you want to. You so are you going to go flower like? I'm going to go for like a little pear bloom. A pear bloom. Yeah, how's that? I feel you. So I, I feel you. All around and then one plonked in the middle. There we go. Gorge. Then you pour this batter over. Surely that's not it. Yeah, it's that simple. It doesn't even look like there's enough. It's going to expand completely. It's all no good. Ways. It's going to happen. Look how nice and flat it comes out as well. And also, you don't want it to be thick. I actually like when it's nice and thin because that means the ends end up like crisping up really oh, yeah. well and that crunches everything. So then what you do is you take a little bit of your clover cream, whoop it up, add it to the top, add some toasted almonds to the top as well. Clem, this was so easy. It's the simplest thing ever. I was literally looking around thinking, now where's the rest of the ingredients? Now that's it. A little bit of honey. Wow. Why not? Just like that. That's how you win. Oh, gee. Remember our crazy girl that we spoke about who makes all the most amazing yeah. You can tell this is her. She is a mad genius when it comes to desserts. Yeah. And this is one of hers. Okay, now I want to know, and I'm pretty sure that you at home want to know this as well. What is the flavor of what's around the pear? Is it like a mulva kind of? Kind of, but it's more intense because of that brown sugar that's in there. Yeah. So it's a little more nuttier, not as sweet, which is great mm. because you're adding all that honey to it. So the flavors are like just like next level on top of each other. And then the cream actually just cuts through all of that, just makes it even more decadent. Clem, this is delicious on Ooh, another level. It's crazy. So you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Don't you, do you guys have one of those days at home as well, where sometimes you just go straight for your custard? And uh, I, I believe, I've yes. I've done that a it's, few it's times. It's the way, it's the way. Okay, Are I, you don't, do it? I'm, I don't know if I'm backing myself enough to do this, but you're just going to sprinkle it all over? Yeah, there's no specific way how to do it. Should I? Should I hoi? Okay, Squeeze. on. Oh boy. Yeah, this is amazing. That's the way. That's you know what I like when you also throw some on the table, because <laughs> it's art. It's art. I mean, Luke Dell Roberts would be so pleased yeah. with my presentation. Embraced. Yeah, now classy, elegant, delicious. I'm just talking about me. I'm just uh, sorry. Ah! That, that was, <laughs> <laughs> nope, that was definitely that tart. Now, what's not to love? SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero, and of course, to get this recipe sent directly to your advice, all you need to do is send that keyword now. And just in case you need a little reminding of the steps again, watch this.
Made with love by Clover. So what are you guys having for dessert? <laughs> After the break, we're going to have one sensational feast with our fantastic guest, Namsa Butalezi. We're going to be right back. Clover Classic Custard, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Express yourself. Are you the smoothest fan to Zanzi's biggest stars? Prove it by entering SABC One's Tropica Smooth Fan Quiz Show. Buy Tropica and follow the entry details on the label. Select your favorite celeb who you think you know best to participate in the quiz show. And stand a chance to win thousands of instant daily prizes and a share of 1 million rand. Enter and catch the Tropica Smooth Fan Quiz Show on SABC One, Fridays at 6 p.m. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, we're hitting up one hot chisanyama in the loft today with our fantastic guest, Noam Sabutalezi, and of course, the lovely Chef Suan. Clem's here too. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just joking, man. <laughs> we couldn't have done this without you. Guys, I'm impressed. Eh? We got the meat, we got the salads, stuffed sweet potatoes, garlic bread. Gotta have garlic bread. Yes. The sweet, the potato salad. Just want that, hey? Yo, no, it's so good. Seen. And bean salad. Did we do well? well? You did exceptionally well. <laughs> well done, my chef. Yes. Well done, well you done. too. Thanks, guys. So, well if done. this was at a wedding, you would have given us quite a big score. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Yo. So I want to know, are you, so you've been working on this amazing show and everybody loves you, but in the beginning it was quite hectic. It was quite a big Very transition. Hectic, yes. So mm. what kind of issues did you have? Body shaming. Mm. Really? Yes. Uh, just from people on social media? Just from people who was just bored in their sofas with no data yeah. or whatever. But they, 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 they spoke about my weight, they spoke about my clothes and all that. So, but somehow that thing... Made me stronger, mm. made yeah, me learn, exactly. you know, hence I'm still on the show. Exactly. Yeah. And you know that I always think, like, because I think so many people write into TV shows with their opinions on what they think of people and that, and I think you've got to consider the kind of person mm -hmm. who's complaining to hurt somebody else's feelings. So, girl, you got nothing to worry about. Definitely, darling, I definitely. <laughs> What has been your highlight of your career, do you think? And what, like, what do you prefer, the TV hosting or, of course, the, the, the soap, soap life? <laughs> um, I love my hosting. Yeah. I love my hosting. It's more me. Yeah. And um, I, I, it's, it's effortless because it's just nomsak yeah. going to a wedding. And I feel like a, a fairy godmother, yeah. you know, trying to help my bride who's so stressed and yeah. they don't eat and they're crying. Oh. So that is just... Um, the highlight of my career. Yeah. Yes. Speaking Thank about you. your bride, a little birdie told me hey, hey. that you are in love. 
<laughs> and I mean, it's possibly heading in that direction. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How sweet are my little birdies? They ah, tell me everything. Your birdies are away, man. Okay. Yeah. The being in love part. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. But she is the one. Yes. You are in love. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. She Isn't is. that the best feeling in the world? Definitely. Um, you know, sometimes when you are just locked in into a, a world that you, you're not free. Yeah. And you're just um, in a relationship just for people, okay? Yeah. And yeah. then I'm like, I need a girl. Yeah. But you cannot say that. Yeah. Because I'm in a community, a black community, and people don't know that. That's satanism. You know, all yeah. of that. Uh, me coming out was was just a walk in the park for me because really? I started in my own community in yeah. Alex. Amazing. They had to understand first that this is me and they accepted me for who I am. Exactly. And then now for South Africa to actually know that she actually dating a girl, yeah. you know, not a guy. Yeah. You know, and it was a problem at first because people were like, oh, really? Yeah. But she looks like a man eater, this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes to home. Oh, this to man. is what a man eater yes. looks like. Hey! <laughs> but anyway, um, I got a girl. Hey. Hey. But I mean, I find it so hard to believe that people do have a hard time coming out, or, you know, because I think in 2018, you should be free to It's love hard in the closet, darling. Loves. Come out of there. <laughs> Come out of there. Oh, I yes, love she's that. just the best thing ever. I, I actually yeah. met, met her while doing the show. Yeah? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, but it was after work. How? Okay. Yeah. Keep it professional. Yeah. Yes. Between nine it and was five. After work. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> She is the best. And did you know when you met her that she was the one? Because you know, people always say when you know, you know. And like when you meet the one, you just, I mean, I, 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 that's never happened to me. I don't know about you. If it just happens immediately. The funny thing is, you know, I thought that was just a story, you know, yeah. uh, fairy tale. But it is true. Really? It yeah. is true. Oh boy. You know, because the first time I saw her, I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh no, <laughs> just one of those things. And then it hit me that actually this person is their one. I had to go oh. to the Facebook page and to oh. my homework. Oh. <laughs> we okay. love a little Who Facebook are you dating? <laughs> Still like a boss. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so should we tuck in? Mm -hmm. Because you've, oh, thank you. You so You're kindly welcome. dished I'm, up I'm for me. Please, really. for me yeah. too. I'll just. There What's your yes. favorite? Lamb, chicken, or sausage? All of the above. All, All of the above. above. <laughs> this, That's darling. That's a really good piece. I think we should Which one? Yeah, it's in real You know what? That's the winning piece. That's the so, that's a prime cut. Yeah, guys, yeah. I wish my girlfriend was here. <laughs> Baby, yes. So if you have to rate our food, what yeah. would you say? What would you give it? Yeah. Uh, out, of, uh, out of how many? Ten. Ten. Ten out of ten. I think so. Ten out of ten. This is the And we have our trophy. Oh, yes. This is Yes. My favorite. Heritage right here. What are you going to go for, Jeannie? All of it. Yeah. Okay. I want it all. <laughs> this is amazing. There we go. Wow. And then you still got your bribery because of the end and the salad, but I think that's just. I know. I'm going to have to tuck into the mm -hmm. salad. This is amazing. Yes. Oh. I mean, it's do you think you could eat like this every day? Uh, I'm watching you, girl. Uh, I'm no, watching you. That's a bride. Why are we all down. fighting with no. a knife and fork? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> watching, <laughs> learning, and judging. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, change, eh? Okay, so what do we get now that you've tasted how amazing is this? This is quite a fantastic mm. little yeah. thing that I've never seen. What is this? Superheroes stuffed with cheese and creamy leek. Yeah, how from Woolworths. Woo exactly. You just buy it like that in the bride section. Yeah, exactly. It comes in a little four pack. Pop it either. Here we go. Mm. Pop it either in your Weber or pop it in the taste. oven. Because if you're honest, there are those vegetarians that go to brides and like, what am I doing at the bride? Yeah. Give them that. I had Sue come over to <laughs> a bride my house once and she didn't make a thing. Those days are over. <laughs> Next time you can be making Jamie. all of this. <laughs> Next time, babe. Awkward. <laughs> Thank you so time. much for being here. Sue, I love you. Thank you for being Thanks, here. Bro. And for making all this food for once. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you. I love you. Thank you so much for being on the show.